सो हियर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन एवरी वन अ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम रिजिडली अटैच टू अ यूनिफॉर्म डिस्क ऑफ मास स्मॉल एम एंड रेडियस कैपिटल आर एट इट्स पेरीफेरी एज शोन इन फिगर The disc at this moment is rolling without slipping on a fixed horizontal surface. If the speed of center of the disc is v naught, then the total kinetic energy of system at this instant will be. So here, pure rolling is mentioned. That is rolling without slipping. So the velocity of center of mass if is v naught, then the velocity of this point will also be v naught. Velocity of this point v naught. Velocity here v naught. and velocity of this m will be v not along this the periphery i'm talking about due to the center of mass here will be v not as well now the net velocity of the particle attached can be given as v equals v not under root 2 now we have to calculate the total kinetic energy of system first of all starting from the disk kinetic energy of disk will be translational as well as rotational half mv not square plus half i omega square further equal to half m v not square plus half moment of inertia of disk mr square by 2 multiplied by omega will be v not by r whole square it will be squared after solving the total kinetic energy of the disk can be written as 3 by 4 mv not square now let's check the particle velocity of particle we already have calculated the kinetic energy of the particle now will be half m under root 2 v not square after solving the kinetic energy of particle will be simply m times v not square now the total kinetic energy we can write 3 by 4 mv square plus mv square that is 7 by 4 m v not square option number 3 we can go with which is absolutely correct moving on to the next that is 22 number so here is question number 22 everyone there is a small ball a of mass m which is suspended vertically with the help of light string of length l as shown in figure a bullet of same mass and moving with horizontal speed u strikes the ball a and gets embedded in it the maximum angular deflection of the string from the vertical will be what now now the total linear momentum of the system will be conserved therefore using law of conservation of momentum we have initial momentum of system is mu final momentum is both masses are attached velocity suppose v so the velocity with which the bullet and ball system will start from a will be given by u by 2 now situation becomes something like this u by 2 suppose here the system has stopped so final velocity will be zero this is the angle which we have to calculate now here the potential energy of system is actually increasing because it is getting height this particular length can be written as l minus l cos theta where l is the length of string now applying the energy equation we have 2 m g into l 1 minus cos theta should be equal to change in kinetic energy that is half total mass is 2 m velocity u by 2 that is u square by 4 from here we have got 1 minus cos theta is equal to u square upon 8 gl or cos theta is equal to 1 minus u square upon 8 gl or theta is equal to cos inverse 1 minus u square upon 
AGL. So this is our final answer. Option number two we can go with, which is absolutely correct. Moving on to the next, that is question number 23. So here is question number 23, everyone. Which of the following is necessary true for a body rolling purely on a fixed rough horizontal surface? So this is the situation of actually pure rolling. This is the surface, let us assume. And this is a disc or a ball. In case of pure rolling, what will happen? The velocity of center of mass should be equal to the velocity of any point at the periphery that is r omega so since in pure rolling vc is equal to r omega so this point will move with vc plus r omega and the lowermost point will move with here is vc and backward or behind is r omega so velocity at lowermost point vp will be given by vc minus r omega which will be further zero so therefore we can say that option number two is absolutely correct friction will provide the necessary rolling and therefore option number three is not correct we will go with option number two only moving on to the next that is 24 number so here is question number 24 everyone Three point masses each of mass 10 kg are placed at the vertices of an equilateral triangle of side 2 meter. The moment of inertia of the system about any side will be what? So, here we have an equilateral triangle, for example, three masses of 10 kg are kept at the vertices. Now, you have to calculate the moment of inertia of any side. Suppose this. Now, since this and this mass they are lying on the axis. Therefore, the moment of inertia of the system due to these masses will be zero. Only this mass will count in moment of inertia. So therefore, if this is R, this is M. So moment of inertia of system will be simply MR square. Now, this is 2 meter, 90 degree, 60 degree, 30 degree. So R can be written 2 cos 30 degree putting the values m is 10 r is 2 cos 30 whole square 10 into 4 into cos 30 3 by 4 because square is there so 4 for cancel out moment of inertia of system is simply 30 kilogram meter square option number 2 is absolutely correct so we will go with second option only moving on to the next that is 25 number so here is question number 25 everyone Consider the following two statements. Moment of inertia is a vector quantity absolutely wrong. It tells about the distribution of mass in a system in a body. Among set of parallel axes, the moment of inertia is minimum about the axis passing through the center of mass. Let's think about this statement. According to parallel axis theorem, moment of inertia about any random axis parallel to center of mass is given by IC plus M into R square. So from here it is very much clear that i will always be greater or equal to ic therefore this statement b is completely justified and true that minimum moment of inertia among the parallel axis is about axis passing through center of mass so option number two we can go with which is absolutely correct moving on to the next that is 26